out there, Facebook. This is April Babb with People of Blaze Ministries, and I hope that you will check out the Facebook page that we have and the YouTube page. And I'm going to begin to uploading these Facebook Live videos to the YouTube page. So thank you for uh, thank you for that one that emailed me about that because I do want to begin to do that because some people, as we know, are not on Facebook, and so I want them to be able to get the benefit of these videos as well. So I'm going to begin to upload those on the YouTube page. I want to briefly share with you an interesting thought that the Lord began to pour into me as I checked my mailbox. And um, it's, it's so wonderful how God is present with us, as present as we will allow Him to be, as present as we can have eyes to see. And so I checked my mailbox, and today I have three items here, junk mail, junk mail, junk mail. And the Lord began to talk to me about rejecting and trashing the enemy's junk mail. He showed me how the enemy is an expert at knowing how to deliver junk mail to our minds, which come in the form of thoughts. And so your mind is a mailbox. And, you know, just like with our physical mailing address, we cannot restrict someone from sending us mail. Or if we can, I'm not aware. Maybe you can at some point, but... I cannot restrict all of these companies from sending me all of this junk mail. Just like our spiritual minds, the enemy can send all of the arrows and all of the lies and all of the confusion that he wants to. But what we have been called to is to actually rule over our minds in Christ Jesus. So that's what I want to talk to us about today. And so I've already shared uh, earlier in the week last week about don't be the ventriloquist dummy of the enemy anymore. And I want you to check that one out. It was a good one. Just talking about the thoughts that the enemy sends into our mind. We don't need to let those thoughts find their way to our mouth. And so we need to learn, and myself included, we need to learn to take every thought captive. And what I like to do is just to continue to share the same message in different ways because I believe that we, each of us, learn and um, encounter truth differently and how we can, how our eyes can become open to it. So today I want to talk about the devil's junk mail. The devil's junk mail. Hey, hey, Margarita from Australia. Woohoo! I see all those fireballs. That's right, girl. Australia is on fire and it's coming to America too. Praise God. But I want to talk today about the enemy's junk mail. And I don't know about you, but oftentimes I get all of these things in my mailbox and I know what to do with them immediately. A lot of them, I don't even open them. I put them right where they belong in my garbage can. And the Lord showed me to where many of us, hey mama, I love you. <laughs> That's my husband's mother, for those of you that don't know, Patty Babb. So a lot of us, when the enemy sends his thoughts into our minds, we do not do the same as what we do with our junk mail. Our junk mail, we just hit it in the trash box because we've learned that. But when the enemy sends a thought, he says, did you hear the way that that person just talked to you? Did you see how she looked at you when you said so-and-so? Can you believe them? Can you believe what they've just done? You're opening the enemy's junk mail and you're pondering the thoughts. And so see what happens is you open up this mail that was never intended for you to even read. And you begin to read all of the details. And you begin to ponder all of the thoughts that the enemy is putting in your mind uh, either against so-and-so, which is how he uses offense, or he's just He's just throwing at you a bunch of arrows of different kinds of thoughts. You need to think about this. You need to think about that. You need to think about this. And he's putting pressure on you. You guys, if I were to open every piece of junk mail and read every single line of junk mail, I would sit and read mail for an hour a day and at the end of it be very confused. <laughs> And so I'm just relating that to us today. Your mind is like a mailbox and you're receiving thoughts continuously, either from the Lord, from the world, from the enemy, from your own experiences. But it is you that walk to that mailbox each day and you pick up what's been put into your mind and you choose to open some of the mail, hopefully the ones where God has sent you encouragement. He sent you a word. He's told you that he is with you and he loves you and that is what you need to ponder. 
yonder and the rest of the garbage that the enemy sends you about that you're worthless and that you're going to live in a state of being confused the rest of your life and that you will never understand the word of the Lord. How dare you think that you could understand the Bible? See, those are pieces of mail that it's time for you to when you go to the mailbox of your mind and when you assess the thoughts that are in your mind, you take those thoughts captive in the name of Jesus and you put them exactly where they need to go in the garbage can. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank you, Jesus. I give you glory, Lord. You know what? Something about junk mail. It's useless. I'm going to say that again. Something about junk mail. It's useless. Well, glory. Every thought the enemy sends to you. I'm going to back you up so I don't hurt your ears. Every thought the enemy sends to you is useless, useless, useless in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's see what I wrote on here. This is another thing that I think is funny about junk mail. Oh, glory. A lot of times I get junk mail and the people sending it to me, they don't even know my identity. It may say current addressee at and have my address. Or it may say April Babs <laughs> and I'm April Bab. <laughs> people that send junk mail to you usually don't know about your identity. Well, let me stop right here and tell you that when the enemy of your soul who comes to kill, steal, and destroy from you through your own thoughts, he does not know your identity in the fullness, and he definitely doesn't want you to know. You know what? I'm going to back up. I'm going to say this. The enemy knows more about our identity than we do, but what he does is he tries to come across and make you think that you are someone that you are not. Hallelujah. And he sends you this mail. And he sends you this thought. And the thought does not say your name in Christ. It doesn't say victor. It doesn't say conqueror. It doesn't say triumphant. It doesn't say the one that wears the victor's crown that Jesus has given. It doesn't say any of those names. No, 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 no. He sends you mail a thought that says the conquered. You've been conquered. You are depressed, stressed, frustrated. Come on, guys, full of chaos. He sends that name on your junk mail because the enemy don't know. He doesn't really know. And I'll tell you, I'm telling you the truth here. The Bible says if the enemy had known what he was doing to Jesus, he would have never been crucified because in the defeat or so-called defeat of Jesus dying, we got our victory. Listen, I'm going to camp out there for just a minute. We need to be reminded today that Jesus encountered these things that we would not have to endure. He was beaten. He was bloodied. He was rejected. He, the Father had to turn away because Jesus was carrying our sin. And because of that, you and I have been given a great transfer. Because Jesus was rejected, now your name has become accepted. You have been accepted by the Father. Because Jesus was scorned, you have been loved by the Father. You see, your name, your identity, your address has all been given to you through Jesus. And the enemy wants to come against every bit of it. And, you know, really, honestly, I do believe the enemy knows more than we do sometimes, myself included. And that's the reason he comes against that identity of us. Um, let's see. I wrote something else here. I thought it was good. A lot of times. Hey, Paul Bab. Hey, buddy. I love you. A lot of times junk mail comes and it's too good to be true. And many times when the enemy tempts us to thoughts that are not of God, it'll be too good to be true. At first, we'll take a bite of that sin and we'll feel so good. And then as that fruit goes down deep, it turns sour. Let me give you an example. Again, I'm going to go back to the offense because I believe the enemy works overtime to keep us offended. Because if he can keep us offended, he can keep us oppressed under his power and under his regime. And so the enemy sends offense your way. So a friend says something awry or does something that hurts your feelings. And this thought comes into your head, a.k.a. junk mail. And this thought comes and says, how dare she? How dare he? And at that moment in time, we can choose to open that letter of offense and begin to read all of the details that's in it and begin to rehearse what, what this person has done against us, blah, 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 blah. But the Lord Jesus is telling us today that he has 
also placed mail in our mailbox. <laughs> Hallelujah. He has given us mail that says on it, sound mind. Glory. Hallelujah. He has given us mail that says more than an overcomer, more than a conqueror. And the Lord wants us to open up the mail that he sent and to allow our minds to ponder the truth of who we are, the truth of who that person is that we have been offended by, and to come and, and to be able to flow in a level of peace. And so, I don't know. You know, just having a conversation with you guys. What do y'all think? Do you read all of your junk mail? I'll tell you. I would be reading mail all day long. I wouldn't have time for anything else. And that is what the enemy knows. He knows that if he can have us preoccupied in our minds, thinking upon every thought that he puts in our minds, that we will not have time to defeat him. <laughs> he knows that if we are preoccupied, that we will not have time to defeat him. And so, I want you, this video is so scattered, and I understand that. But you know what? I'm going to post it anyways, because I believe that when you go to your mailbox, if you've seen this, that you'll take away one thing. You will check your mail, and you will have two piles. You will have a pile that is coming to you and needs to be addressed and that you need to look at and evaluate and you will have a pile of junk mail and you will remember that there are thoughts in your head that need to be trashed immediately in Jesus name. Don't open the junk mail of the devil. Don't get to reading it. Don't get to studying it because what that will do is suck the life out of you in Jesus name. But we are not those today that will read the enemy's junk mail anymore. We are those that will open up the letters from our Father of love and power. I love you guys. Very simple message. I kept getting a little bit nervous that my boys were going to beat on the door. But they did it! <laughs> So I apologize for the scatteredness of this video. I knew that I needed to quickly get it out and it was just the idea of the junk mail because I love visuals that when you go to the mailbox, hopefully you'll remember and going to the mailbox is something we do every day and taking thoughts captive should be something that we do every day as well. So when you take that stack of junk mail and toss it, I also want you at that period of time to evaluate the thoughts that have been in your head even in the last 24 hours. Just do it every day. Evaluate the thoughts you're pondering, get rid of the garbage, hallelujah, and open up the mail from our Father, which is truth and power and love. I love you guys. I bless you. Stay fiery in Jesus' name and throw all that junk mail in the fire. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Bye.